So, welcome back to Deja Vu, where last we left off, we cleared our name for the murder of Joey Siegel and kidnapping of Miss Sternwood, and uh, just got abducted by two goons, specifically hired goons. But uh, this is the beginning of Deja Vu 2 Lost in Las Vegas. This is the one that uh, came out on PC that never made it over to the stage on NES. But here we see uh, Ace was abducted by two thugs, of course hired goons, who worked for Tony Malone. And it turns out that uh, Tony Malone was actually in cahoots with Joey Siegel over some things. And now uh, his money's missing. And of course because uh, we were the last ones to have anything to do with Siegel, Malone figured it was me who stole the money. So it's uh, the standard or else. And he's got his uh, number one hitman on me, which is going to be a problem. So either way, uh, this game is a lot more involved than the first Deja Vu, and it's actually a lot harder than the first one. But one thing you can do, well first let's uh, look in the mirror, just because you can trigger uh, some different things. Yeah, and that was only a week ago. But either way, what we need to do now is uh, take our clothes. And you see there are some differences between the first and second game, which uh, means that they improved some things. And here we are in a hotel room. And yeah, this guy's gonna come up a lot. And so is this music. Now, now, pay very close attention to this hint, because this is uh, something that's actually very critical around the end of the game. And that is, that is going to be a cigar ring, right around here. Yes, that is his smelly cigars and nobody else. So we're going to go ahead and take this thing. Let's see, right here is a train schedule. And if you do that, you uh, get the address for the Chicago train station, which is always something that uh, is always very useful. And that's uh, surprisingly nothing, but you can take it if you want. So we're just going to go ahead and take that. And see, just like the uh, first game, you get to open up the uh, trench coat and the pants, but... One thing I do want to show off is that I want to try and go outside. Oh, actually, yeah, I gotta open it. But yeah, I want to go outside here. And then there's a, a security guy that shows up. Yes, uh, basically what that means is that uh, you have to use clothes on yourself in order to put them on and take them off respectively. So let's just go ahead and uh, do just that. And yeah, this is going to come into play around um, for most of the game, actually. Because there are times you are going to have to change out of your trench coat and pants in order to uh, have access to certain things. Let's see, there's just gum. But yeah, just like the first game, I'm going to spend most of this first part uh, just opening stuff up. So I can uh, just take things and hopefully come across some important clues. And yeah, this is for the sake of uh, getting a or getting another address because those are going to come back into play. So let's see, one more thing I want to do here. I want to open this up. And this was actually something I recently learned. Was that uh, you can get a second newspaper clip. So let's just go ahead and close that. And then we're going to examine these. Because uh, the bar is actually going to come back into play. 
And we will see why pretty soon. And of course, that's just uh, back in the days when Ace was a boxer. So, first thing we gotta do is uh, figure out where Malone's money ends up going, and I think the best way to do that is to go back home and uh, see what's going on. Because we found out that Siegel was running rackets in Chicago for him, so we need to find out just what kind of rackets. So let's just go ahead and get two chips out of this. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and save here. And either way, uh... Yeah, this is uh, gonna be our way of getting money for this game. And as you remember, Rudy Kowalski was our old sparring partner. So let's just go ahead and use this on him. Yes, now he's in cahoots with me. So, the way to gamble here in this game is, uh, we've got to use the chips on him. And first thing I'm gonna do is save, of course. Now, there are two ways you can do this. You can either do this the, uh, the way I just did, or you can do this the old-fashioned way. And with the old-fashioned way, just make sure you save often. And yeah, the thing with, uh, doing it this way is that uh, you can win a lot easier obviously and just like so and for those of you who may or may not know the rules of blackjack oh whoops I didn't want to do that uh, for those of you who may or may not know the rules of blackjack um, you want to go up to 21 without busting so after we got done uh, winning about 52 chips Let's just go ahead and go back and get our money. And there is a way you can trigger a certain scene where uh, Rudy tells you that he's watching you, or somebody's being watched. And that's only if you do win about like 200 chips, which I really didn't feel like doing for this Let's Play. Let's just go ahead and save here. And then we're gonna head out of the Lucky Dice Casino. But first I gotta open it, of course. And see, with uh, Las moving around in Las Vegas, there are uh, ways you go around the desert. And whenever you see these uh, tire tracks, that means that uh, you're either going to the casino or going to this place called the uh, Reliant Laundry. And yeah, there is a way that uh, if you wander around the desert too long, you end up dying. But I'll uh, show that off in the extra video, you know, with all the death. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the train station. Let's just go ahead and get in here. But if we talk to this guy in Las Vegas, uh, we can use money on him. Actually, not yet. Yeah, but we can uh, actually use him to buy stuff, which is going to be either bullets or batteries. And that's uh, actually going to be pretty important pretty soon. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to examine how trains work. But I got to open this first. And yeah, this game is a lot more involved than the first one. So just remember to know that as you're playing this, hopefully. And yeah, that's just uh, something to remember as the game goes on. So we need to uh, board track 6 to go to Chicago. Which is gonna be uh, this one right here. No. Okay, yeah, it was actually track 6. And it turns out I missed the train. That is a shame. But then again, I guess that's what you expect when you haven't recorded in a while. Uh, 
Okay, so Chicago is a uh, track eight now. So I can go in this way. And then just board the train. So let's just uh, buy the ticket from the conductor. Just like so. And you can uh, try and talk to people here, but there's uh, really nothing towards it. And unfortunately, Ace has no game. Although I like this one. And then his mouth is going a mile a minute. And there's this other guy. And then, uh, fun fact, if you try and, uh, go towards any other city, uh, Stogie will show up and he will kill you for trying to run away. So that's just, uh, something you have to remember as this game goes on. And there is actually one way you can go to either LA or St. Louis, and that's the end of the game. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. Instead, I, uh, think I'm gonna do something a little different. So instead, what we're doing is, uh... We're going to use a quarter. So wait, I gotta get that on my wallet first. Yeah, so anyway, I gotta, uh, use a quarter on this guy. And then take a newspaper. And the reason I gotta do this is because, uh, there's another address here. And that's because, uh, we got to find the city morgue, but that's not gonna come into play for a while. And, of course, I gotta open this first. You know, it would really be a lot easier if I just, uh, used the blank feature. And this is gonna be Ace's friend, Gabby. And this time we don't have to worry about coins. Because, uh, Gabby's actually gonna give us a ri uh, ride for free. And it turns out Gabby's a Bears fan, who knew? Well, that was definitely true in the 90s. But I think we are going in the right direction. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our apartment. Because there isn't anything else for us in, in Las Vegas until the end. So let's just go ahead and uh, get out. And I think we have to get out to the left side. If you try and get out to the right side, it's, uh, the door is messed up because I guess Gabby got into an accident. Well, never mind. I guess I gotta go in here first. Still popcorn. I don't know, this is not what you'd expect out of an apartment. I'm just trying to see which one's mine. Guess somebody broke into that one. Metaphor about in life. Way to go, Ace. He is a poet, after all. So that's just... A... I guess not. Yeah, that might come into play a little bit later on, but right now we're just gonna use this key on this lock. And it turns out we were not the first ones to uh, go looking in our apartment for the money. And yes, so did someone else. And this game is a lot more involved in this or than the first one. And the reason for that is you do have to uh, look around for a lot more things and you do have to uh, solve problems in a different way than the first one. And I will demonstrate such, as, or such a thing as the uh, game goes on. Yeah, that's going to be our mailbox key, so let's go ahead and get that. And we're going to need this knife. This is going to be the uh, acting skeleton key, so to say. 
So let's just go ahead and get those things. And I do want to open up this box because, uh... Yeah, we got bullets here. And unfortunately, we do have to uh, take these one at a time, which is... Kinda tedious, but... You know, you could do worse with other games. And while we're here, I've actually uh, never played the PC version of this game. I only know about this because of the uh, remake. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this that. Let's see what else. And while we're here, let's just open up the hunter code. Because I want this gun. And one other thing regarding the blackjack, if you uh, end up losing all your money, you can actually find a $10 bill in the desert. But it is a lot harder to come by, so just do yourself a favor and save more. And see, while we're out here, let's just uh, load, the bullet, or load the bullets in the gun. Which, we only have to use this a certain amount of times, but it's uh, actually not that important, to be honest. So let's just do this. And this game is a little bit darker than the first one, but at the same time it does maintain that uh, sense of humor that Ace Harding is used to. But since we have uh, Key 2, let's just open this up. And in Envelope 2, let's just close this then, and then open Envelope 2. Yeah, it turns out that uh, every good private eye needs a snitch. So... Yeah, here you can find uh, something involving money trafficking. And that's actually gonna be uh, something that's uh, actually not that important to be honest. Because I have gone through this game, and I have actually beaten this game without, uh, using that spe er, that specific hint. So let's just do this. And we're going to go back to Gabby's cab. So, while we're here, let's just, uh, go here and into Joe's bar. And Joe's bar has changed quite a bit since, uh, you know, the week that, uh, we were accused of Joe's murder and that, uh, we ended up clearing our name. So let's just see how. Yep, all the windows are boarded up and there are construction areas. As you can see, you can go back to the police, but they will arrest you for some messed up reason. And there is actually no, uh, construction pit on the right. So let's just, uh, go ahead. And we actually need to go into this alleyway. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump up the fire escape. And there is one specific reason we want to do this, because uh, we want to open up the, uh... Or we want to open up the window of the to the place where we saw Joey Siegel get murdered. Yes, thanks for that game. Although I do like that, uh, one of the comments in SyncTube was that, uh, the phone kind of looks like a face, which it kind of does, you know, since it's a phone from the 40s, I guess, uh, phones kind of look like that. You know, with the bells and everything. But one thing that is uh, important to seek out is that, uh, you can actually open the phone and find yourself another key. So I'm gonna do just that. And then we are done with business here. And see, there's nothing for us up there. Yeah, it's uh, much too rickety for me to climb. And then there's actually nothing in the sewers either. Because there are gators to worry about, or crocodiles. 
Let's see, we're just gonna open up a few things. We do want that key. And somebody, I guess, ordered some Chinese. With a lot of maggots. You actually can eat that thing if you want, if you use it on yourself, but... Why would you want to do that? Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna save here. And we're gonna go ahead and call the video, so... Join me next time as I investigate Joe's bar, and see what we left behind. I will see you then.